How's everybody doing? This is Bob Iacchino from Path Trading Partners along with my co-founder, Mike Arnold. It is September 18th, and this is a quick cryptocurrency path chat educational update covering Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. So let me turn it over to Mike to let you know what he's seeing on the charts. Mike, it's all yours. Thank you very much, Bob. Bitcoin Cash update. Horizontal channel triggered. Stop reduction target hit. First target hit. Second one. Let's see. Official target was 494.95. So far, it's been to 494.70. So I'm just going to remove this from the charts. That's essentially target reached or right around this 495 red line, which is also the end of this triggered trend line trade, end of the clear path move. This gets into an interesting situation now with Bitcoin Cash. The next major trade if we were watching it now is a close above now the 490.77 however that's straight into major resistance and this 50 percent retracement level we're going to hold off on anything except possibly take some more profits up here on already initiated trades but not initiate any new stuff until we can get back above this uh really this 500 and the big level is about 510. So what we're going to be watching for is a move above this 510 and a possible pullback to this prior resistance now becoming support. Let's check in on the daily chart to keep that in perspective. See that 510 is also where the top of the rotation zone. There's and this major breakdown area. So there is a lot of resistance to get through now right above us. What we would like to see is a move up getting above this level, especially on a closing basis and coming back and retesting this prior resistance becoming support and then looking to initiate another trade. We have a really nice clear path move. The next major target once we're above this 0.5 level will be the 561. Just keep in mind that there is major resistance coming in here. You even see over when it first broke off this 500 level to 500 and we'll call it the prior breakdown zone 518 is going to be very key. So we would not recommend getting overly aggressive in here right now. Switching over to Bitcoin, US dollar triggered also trend line trade here into an advanced clear path. We talked about that. Hit the two targets, this 4,021 level, which you see it spiked above that to the next target, 4,083, then pulled back and essentially closed on the first target again, came back down, testing. This is prior uh, resistance becoming support and the rising rotation zone, and then now heading back up. What do we have on the agenda next? Well, we have a potential... Another long trade, but we'd have to get above this 4,083 area, the exact high 4,085, either on a sustained move or a closing basis. That is going to be key. The next targets up then would be right around the 4,218 and then the 4,354 should we have a major push higher. However, we need to check in with the daily chart Again, we're sitting here right at the top of the rotation zone, which is resistance. You can see on the chart. So that'll be nice. If we do get a move back above this 4085, then we're into also a clear path on the daily. And you can see the targets up there. There's going to be some resistance from that trend line. So, But at least we'll have the rotation zone out of the way. So this flat 200, which is the red moving average, it's a simple moving average. That's the only one we use a simple moving average for is the 200. It's going to come in line with this declining trend line. So that's going to be a target area around there on a move again above this 4083, especially on a closing basis. If we do pull back, we have very key support. We have the now hooking up 50 period exponential moving average. A significant level right about this 3864 and then the bottom of the rotation zone coming in at the prior breakout level at 3800 so all down to 3800 3864 and 3911 are all key support points should we pull back 
That's what we'll be watching for. And then rotations back up to possibly initiate rotation trades. If we get below this 3,800, then we will be holding off on any further longs at this point. That's what we have for you on the Bitcoin US dollar update. Back to you, Bob. Thanks for that, Mike. And thank you guys for watching. Please hit like and subscribe if you like what we are doing. And don't forget to check out our Patreon page. It'd be great if you guys can help us keep this channel growing. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for watching.